So what is the solution? If caffeine is the kind of the, the entry point for most people of using compounds to increase the rate or percentage of fat loss in exercise and even at rest, what are some of the other things that are, are useful and interesting? Well, in terms of tools that are actionable and have reasonable safety margins, I've talked before about uh, something called GLP-1. This is something that uh, can be triggered by the ingestion of yerba mate, which is a tea. And I guess because um, half Argentine, they grew up drinking mate. I think I was drinking mate from the time I was about three or four years old. I don't suggest that for kids. I don't think kids should be ingesting caffeine. Um, but anyway, I did it. Um, and I still ingest mate. Mate increases GLP-1. GLP-1 is in the glucagon pathway. So let's just quickly return to our biochemistry. As you recall, fat is mobilized from body fat stores and then it's burned up, it's oxidized in cells. It actually needs to be converted into ATP and those fatty acids uh, are, are essentially converted into ATP in the mitochondria of the cell. High insulin prevents that from happening and glucagon facilitates that process. Glucagon facilitates that process through increases in GLP-1. The short takeaway is mate increases GLP-1 and yes, increases the percentage of fat that you'll burn. It increases fat burning. And that is especially true, it turns out from the scientific literature, if you ingest mate prior to exercise of any kind. So if you want to burn more fat, Drinking mate before exercise is good. Drinking it at rest when you're not exercising will also help shift your metabolism toward enhanced burning of fat by increasing fat oxidation. Now, there's a whole category of pharmaceuticals that's being developed right now that are in late stage trials or are in use for the treatment of diabetes, which capitalize on this GLP-1 pathway. They go by various names and there are people on the internet who are selling these things. They are prescription drugs. And I want to emphasize that they are prescription drugs. And you obviously wouldn't want to use any of these with, without a prescription and a requirement. They, it does seem that they are effective for the treatment of certain kinds of diabetes and lead to fairly significant weight loss and reduction in appetite. So this is kind of the modern version of GLP-1 is pharmaceuticals of GLP-1 uh, metabolism are drugs uh, such as somatic, sem, I can never pronounce this. I can't seem to pronounce many things, it seems. Uh, semaglutide is the, the way I would pronounce it, S-E-M-A-G-L-U-T-I-D-E. -E. Um, semaglutide, but that's not the way you pronounce it, but somatoglide is the way that it's been described on the internet. Um, in any case, this compound increases GLP-1. It's actually a GLP-1 analog in some cases, and they go by various types of, of trade names. So the GLP-1 pathway is interesting. Most people, including myself, are not interested in taking a prescription drug to increase GLP-1. I do it through the ingestion of mate. I just get the mate leaves, pour water over it, and drink it. And what's kind of interesting that's not often discussed is that you can increase the amount of GLP-1 by you can essentially reuse the tea. The The first time you drink it, it's going to be very, uh, very intense. And in fact, some people find that um, that mate, it almost tastes like burnt leaves. It's too intense. You don't want the water to be too hot. But I learned this trick from a friend. You can reuse the leaves over and over again, probably for about a day before they go bad. And in doing that, you start to extract more and more of the compounds from the mate leaf that increase GLP-1. So it's kind of cool. You can kind of get an increased effect. So what I'll typically do is make a, 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 about 16 to 30 ounces of it and just sip it throughout the day. And I do like it before I train. Some people who don't like mate might prefer something like guayusa, which is spelled G-U-A-Y-U-S-A. G-U-A-Y-U-S-A, guayusa, which is from Ecuador, despite the USA uh, ending to it. It's from Ecuador. And it's a, it's a sweeter tasting tea. It doesn't have any sweetener in it, but the leaf of the guayusa plant is sweeter than the mate plant. I sometimes will mix the two and then make the tea with that. Um, the, there's no mate or guayusa sponsor of the podcast. These are just tools to increase GLP-1 and fat oxidation. And again, the semaglutide um, is the prescription version where of the, it's kind of the 
the heavy artillery GLP-1 stimulant, and again, should be only explored with a prescription.